Well, this Sunday, we have the pleasure and privilege and honor to commission folks for ministry in this upcoming year. And, and we need to be r- reminding ourselves of how significant the ministry that God has called each and every one of us to is. Um, we had for this past 18, 19, 20 months or whatever, all kinds of interruptions to various ministries at this church and throughout Canada and the world. And, and that, that hurt. Um, not because anybody did anything wrong or anything like that, but doing these ministries, we are able to not only disciple and raise our own children, disciple each other and help one another growing, um, and, and we are also able to reach out into the community. Um, and, and these are incredibly important things. It's often been said that, that Christ, God didn't create a mission for the church, Instead, the church was created for the mission. That's why we're here, is to spread the good news. To spread the good news in the words that we say, to spread the good news in the deeds that we do, to spread the good news among those who already know it, and to spread the good news among those who haven't heard yet. This is why we're here. And so, though we won't have all of our volunteers here on this given Sunday, um, and though we have not had, uh, I'm pretty sure we've never had a Sunday where all of our volunteers were here, uh, nonetheless, it is good to commission folks uh, in this congregation for that work, keeping in mind that even if you yourself do not have a specific ministry that you are participating in or leading in this congregation, that doesn't mean that you don't have a ministry God has called you to. You are uh, more likely than not doing your ministry wherever you are. So let us begin with our commissioning litany, uh, where it says congregation sings. Please instead read um, with me. So we're not singing, we're just reading. Loving God, we come before you with prayers on our hearts. We offer to you our very lives that we may live according to your will. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. We pray for all children, for their playfulness, for their curiosity, and for their joyfulness. We pray as they go beyond the boundaries of home that they will find strong and true friendships. We pray especially for those whom you have called to teach and to care for them. Grant, O God, that our children and the adults who instruct them may grow in your love. Take our hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take our feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Swift and beautiful for thee. We pray for all young people for the ways they test boundaries and question authority. We pray, O God, they will continue to develop and use the gifts you have given them. We pray for those whom have called whom you have called to teach and to mentor our young people, grant your wisdom and generous spirit to these youth and the adults alike as they commit to grow righteously in this complex world. Take my voice and let me sing always only for my king. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee filled with messages from thee. We pray for all college students, for the many questions they are facing about their future. We pray for those whom you have called to teach and to care um, 
for them, professors and counselors, administrators and advisors, nurture them, O oh God, in communities of fellowship and protect them from loneliness. Grant your courage to these young adults and adults alike as they engage in critical learning for the future of our world. Take my silver and my gold, not a mite would I withhold. Take my intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose, every power as thou shalt choose. We pray for all those who teach, O God, inspire them with creativity and commitment, give them energy to continue teaching and bringing forth the best from their students, help us to appreciate their efforts and to treat them with respect. Provide opportunities, O God, for their refreshment and renewal. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Be thy royal throne. Thank you. <clears throat> we pray for all adults as they endeavor to live faithful lives in their homes and their workplaces. We pray for all who are parents, step-parents, and grandparents of learners. Help them to find the time to sit and listen to their children. Give them hearts and minds filled with patience, understanding, and wisdom. Enable them to share your truth and love, O oh God, in word and by example. We pray for all those who learn, children, youth, young adults and adults. Keep them from being discouraged when facing the trials of the day. Instill in them a desire to learn and to grow in wisdom and understanding. Grant them the discipline of study and the ability to learn and grow. It got cut off. <laughs> and grant them the ability to learn and to grow. Amen. We pray for all of us as learners, O oh God. We know that we never stop learning about your love and faithfulness. We thank you, O oh God, our Creator, for teaching us through your word and through your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at thy feet its treasure store. Take myself, and I will be ever only all for thee, ever only all for thee. Amen. Amen. If you are just for just to help us be aware and to lift you up, if you are volunteering in the ways that I mentioned in a moment, would you please stand so that we can uh, see you and be aware and pray for you? So if you are uh, doing nursery, if you are either uh, organizing nursery or participating in volunteering for nursery in any way, shape, or form, please rise. Good, excellent. Yes, helpers as well. Good. All right, if you are doing Sunday school at all, either organizing or teaching or anything like that, Yes, please rise. Wonderful. If you are doing gems at all or cadets at all, please rise at this time. Yes, if you are doing, <coughs> if you are participating in youth group as a leader or volunteer, if you would please rise. Yes, excellent. Wonderful. If you are, uh, if you are teaching or participating in leading catechism at any level, would you please rise? At this time, excellent. I'm also one of those people. Um, if you are involved um, in uh, ministry, uh, the men's ministry, next level ministry, helping to lead that or just participate in it, please rise. If you are, uh, if you have been involved in coffee break in the past or are hoping to be involved in coffee break, in the future, I don't know what their plans are yet for this year. Uh, would you please stand for that? Wonderful, excellent, good, good. If you are part of the, the care and fellowship committee and are, uh, you often help with uh, providing food for uh, 
for funerals, etc. Please rise for that. Wonderful. If you are an elder or a deacon, would you please arise and uh, indicate that by your standing as well? If you are nominated for elder or deacon but don't know whether you're going to be an elder or deacon, please rise for that as well. If you are part of the building committee, would you please rise? Uh, if you are part of the worship teams leading or organizing or the worship committee, please rise. Yes, wonderful. Um, who am I missing? What's that? Oh, yeah, the clerk. Yeah, that's like the most important job in the world. Yes, the clerk, yeah, excellent. Um, if, uh, yes, thank you, the AV people. Yes, please stand up, AV, whether you're doing recording or sound or whatever. Yes, uh, also remember as well all of those. If you have a job, would you please stand? Like a job out anywhere. Like that includes you, Robert Bennett, you have a job, <laughs> right? Everybody who has a job of any kind, all right? You also are called to minister in your work. If you, uh, if you are involved in volunteering for anything inside, anything, anything inside the community, outside, around, whether it's sports or whether it's, uh, you know, clubs or whether it's for town council or garden, community garden stuff, good. If you are retired, would you please stand? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious, because retirees have huge ministry. You minister to your kids and your grandkids and your great-grandkids, and you have a ministry of prayer in the community. So basically, at this point, I should hardly see anybody sitting down. Maybe if you're a student, you could stand. That'd be good, too. Because students also have ministry. Awesome. All right. So this may feel a little bit weird because pretty much everybody is standing up and, and the people who aren't standing up are just choosing not to at this moment, but they re legitimately have ministry. But the reality is, is that Christ has called all of us to ministry. And so we should be praying for all of us in our various ministries. Let me just pray briefly for you. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for the body of Christ that is here. Thank you so much for how you have called us and have set aside in advance for us good things to do. Lord, please, <coughs> please, oh God, commission us in the ministry you have given us throughout this world and throughout this year. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> you may be seated. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Um, we have been given so much, and we have so much that we can give back, and I am so grateful for you and for all that you do.